Hey guys, welcome to Mad Acre Homestead. This is Ryan. Um, it's been a while since I posted a video. Uh, reason being, just been me and my wife, my wife and I, I should say, have been extremely busy with work. My wife been uh, usually getting up at five o'clock in the morning, leaving the home, and then coming back at like sometime nine o'clock at night and still have work to do, um, which led me to have to do all the responsibilities at the house for and that's been going on for like the least of the last month, month and a half. So um, I had to, I guess, eliminate some things just to be able to keep my sanity. So one thing I did do was cut back on the videos, but doesn't mean that I didn't do anything around the homestead to progress ourself uh, to get into that stage of being uh, sustainable when it comes to being able to grow and um, produce our own food on our property. Um, another thing was I wanted to figure out, I guess, how I can make my videos value added, meaning that you guys are com taking away something from the videos uh, and seeing things on the videos that you think are important that, that you can share with others that have like minded ideas and want to get, get into homesteading or get become sustainable when it comes to producing food. Um, so with that being said, uh, there's quite a few things I have done on the homestead that we're gonna, I'm going to take Geeker as a round to the property here, uh, show you some new things that I've added, um, some things I'm working on, uh, whatnot. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, before we get into all the hoopla, uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Definitely make sure you comment, um, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Hope you guys enjoy. been doing on the homestead um, I guess a lot of some of the stuff has been behind my garage door uh, gonna take you guys on on a tour in here um, I've done a lot of spring cleaning so to speak we got a real a lot of things I sold a lot of things donated a lot of things to the local Goodwill um, as you guys last knew I uh, know I did uh, I bred Paisley and as well as Emily. Um, I did not videotape the Emily one because I was on someone else's property. Um, so I and um, I didn't feel comfortable videotaping on somebody else's property. So I, but with that being said, we're gonna go in. We're gonna just see what's been going on in their hutches. Uh, so let's go in. I'll grab you guys. So. It was January 26th and January 28th or 29th. Can't remember the exact days. Um, where Emily was bred on 29th and Paisley was bred on the 26th. So, did they have babies? That is the question. And as you can see, yes. Yes, they did. Now... These guys had their their uh, kits and their litters, whatever you want to call it, two days apart. Paisley, um, I put the hutches in because I was new uh, to raising rabbits, breed, breed, breeding rabbits um, for, um, so I put the hutches in a little bit earlier because I wasn't certain when they was going to have their, their, rat, their, their litters. So, um, immediately when I put the hut, uh, nesting boxes in, um, Emily started building her nest. Uh, she didn't pull any hair or anything like that, but she started putting straw, paper, and everything inside her nesting box, which was a good sign. Paisley, on the other hand, she didn't do none of that. Not even up to the date that she was to have her litter. I actually had to build her nesting box, for her nest for her, and I want to say it was February 26th, she actually started pulling hair, and I knew she was going to have her litter uh, soon, and 
January, uh, February 27th, I came out that morning and she had had her litter. Um, Emily, on the other hand, she went up to the 29th and it was, she, it was about 3 o'clock on the 29th. They came out to uh, just check on them, make sure they had water. Uh, I already had fed them that morning, gave them fresh water, but I just like to come and check and make sure they haven't eaten all the hay or whatnot. And she um, had started pulling hair. So I knew that day, uh, sometime that night, I was going to be expecting a litter. However... At five o'clock, I came out to the garage to do some more cleaning. And as you guys can, I'm gonna pan around real quick. We got some space in this garage now. Not very much space, but we have some space. At first, it was a little owl here um, that we had to walk through, and then I had to sometimes take stuff out to uh, be able to clean the hutches and have, get these guys room to be able to run around. So we have space in here now. And I'm going to be getting rid of more stuff. Um, this stuff right here is just here temporarily because I've been working on some other things that we're going to be talking about here uh, in, in this video. But so I, I was out here cleaning up. All of a sudden, I heard noises. Um, and I'll uh, show you. I took some footage of that on my phone. But I heard noises coming from her hutch. And I had never heard these noises before. Matter of fact, other than them running around in her hutches, I don't hear, you don't hear any noises from the rabbits. Um, so I came over and I saw she was in her nesting box and lo and behold, about 15, maybe 20 minutes later, she came out the nesting box and she was covered in uh, blood and she was grooming herself and there was, Billy Jean wants some attention. Um, there were babies in there. I didn't bother the babies right then and there. I gave her a day uh, that night to be able to get herself adjusted and then I went in and I checked uh, how many we had. Uh, Emily had five and they're all, they, they all have made it. Paisley had seven. She lost two right away and she just lost another one this week. Um, they were, it, it was the run of the litter and it was really small and I was afraid it wasn't gonna make it. Um, being this is my first time breeding rabbits, I didn't want to take that rabbit from her nesting box and put it into Emily nesting box. I want to learn, observe and learn the natural order. That way I can in the future make proper adjustments. Um, so I didn't do anything. Um, I just played it out, watched to see how uh, Paisley was going to be a mother and then unfortunately that uh runt died um it did die so the rabbits how are the rabbits the rabbits are great um emily had five once again i'm just gonna grab one this is one of the guys here uh as you can see their 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 eyes are open now they're doing well and her rabbits are, she has multiple blue, uh, four blue, I think, and one black. Uh, the blue appear to be, most of them appear to be show quality, although I don't have any blue rabbits other than those. And the black one, the only black one, unfortunately, isn't show quality. Um, same thing uh, down here with, with Paisley. She had... All hers were black. From what I have seen so far, none of them are show quality rabbits, meaning I can't show them. So, what are my plans with the rabbits? Um, one was to show them, of course. Two, uh, I'm going to sell some rabbits. And it's going to vary on the quality of the rabbits. And then, of course, keep some stock for myself if they would show uh, show quality. But also, uh, we're gonna be harvesting some for meat rabbits. Um, and I'm actually gonna be taking a field trip here and going to a class um, in April here uh, and learning how to process the rabbit, uh, picking out the proper stock, 
the whole nine yards. So, and I'll bring you guys along with me on that, that trip. Um, it's uh, a few hours away. So that's what's been going on with the rabbits. All the other rabbits are healthy. We will be uh, thinning out the mature rabbits. Um, I only have two rabbits that are really show quality. My, my, my idea is to keep Caesar, because that's my wife's favorite, um, keep Second Chance, and then also uh, Emily and Paisley. In Desperado, I'm more likely, Desperado and Billie Jean, I'm more than likely will uh, sell as pet rabbits to someone um, because my wife, every morning, she's very fun in the rabbits. She, every morning she comes and she, she kisses them and every night she kisses them. So it makes it difficult to call rabbits that, that my wife have dubbed as pets. Um, if you know what I mean, you want to, you want to keep that balance in your house. Um, the next thing I have been doing is I've actually gotten into some quails. Um, I bought a, a quail hutch from Winola Ranch. Um, I'll leave a link below, uh, in the show notes for their site. Um, I really like the, the hutch. Um, what's nice about this hutch is it, it sits in an angle um, So when the he quail have eggs lay eggs, they can it'll roll down here right now. I have that blocked off With a paint a couple paint stirs and some duct tape because they're not laying eggs yet and they're able to squeeze underneath and Get out so to prevent them from getting out. I um I put that there temporarily until they mature enough to um, mature enough to stick, not be able to fit between that little gap. And the gap is only an inch, so they really, really, really forced themselves through there. Um, also, the next nice thing about it is, as you can see here, there is no bottom per se. Um, it's a wire. And it allows the droppings to come here, down here, and um, it's easy to clean this tray, which I got to clean today. Um, so what am I doing with those droppings is I'm taking those droppings and I'm just throwing it out in the yard in various areas to have that work into the soil. So when it comes time to plant my flowers, there'll be some... Um, organic matter there to attract those beneficial insects to help work that soil and turn that soil into good quality soil. The feed I'm feeding these rabbits, I mean not the rabbits, excuse me, the feed I'm feeding the quail right now is I'm doing a multi feed. So I have the Purina Premium Poultry Feed. It's a flock raiser, it's a crumble. It's a little fine crumble, I'll grab it here. And what I do is I take that and I actually use my food process and grind it, grind it down more into a dust. And then also I'm using a Purina scratch gain and this is for wild, wild, wild gain. And that is kind of a corn corn and seed mixture and once again I grind that down into a fine little dust for them and they seem to enjoy it so I'm doing both of that that as a mixture um, and that's pretty much what's going on in the house I guess we GoPro actually went uh, dead on me as I was recording I didn't realize it so I got a good portion of the greenhouse done while um, thinking I was filming, I wasn't. But a couple tricky parts about the greenhouse uh, that I noticed was is the door and is as well as um, the windows. The green, uh, the door is a little iffy when it comes to sliding on the track. Um, the 
it came off the track a couple of times but this track right here was bit by the contractor that did our um foundation it was sitting out here and i forgot it was sitting out here when i came they had already bit that i tried to straighten out as best as possible uh, so that could have something to do with it but it does uh hang up and then there's a nice little gap here as you can see um but all in all the greenhouse is nice so i'm gonna chalk that up as to that because of that track um i'm gonna what i'm gonna do here is get some more weather stripping and just have it overlap um i do have still have some finishing touches to do in the greenhouse um putting in some more uh screws in some areas i got a couple more uh clamps i gotta put in but this thing is pretty solid um really solid actually uh, especially with those shelvings in it it doesn't shake um like i said before i did have it out here in uh for like a week and we had some nice night gust nice gust of winds come through and it stayed put um i watched another channel as i was waiting for the gopro to uh charge and some guy suggested to put handles here on the inside and outside and what's nice about that it's gonna allow me to be able to open and close the greenhouse uh, while i'm inside um, here's the inside of the greenhouse got our ventilation window in there these are little these are nice here so we can be able to open and close the ventilation windows Not, I do have a digital therm thermometer as well I'm gonna put it out here just to be able to see what the temperature gets to out here. So, and then from there, we're going to put our solar ventilation right here in this guy right here. So that's going to come another video. And I'll have to figure that out. Anybody know how to do it, please uh, let me know. Um, from there, we just got to fill it up with the pea, pea gravel. We'll also figure out what kind of what kind of uh, material we're going to use on the shelving. Um, I'm going to call it a day. Guys, on the next one, thank you for watching. Again, please like, share, and subscribe. Peace. Thank you.